Well, welcome and uh, thanks again for watching. This is just uh, another quick demonstration of uh, the C64 running on the iPhone. It's been a while since I've posted uh, or blogged about it and my progress and that's simply because I've been you know, spending a lot of time uh, porting Vice, which is the versatile Commodore emulator, to the iPhone in place of Frodo due to, as you'll, if you'll read in my iPhone, uh, iFrodo is dead, long live Vice C64. Uh, I was running into a lot of problems with uh, a number of games just crashing and I spent hours trying to troubleshoot it with to no avail. And uh, having tested them under Vice on Windows and OS X, they exhibited none of those problems at all. In fact, they ran just fine. So it led me down the path of deciding to figure out Vice and uh, get it running on the iPhone. Another motivator was uh, when I actually did some performance testing again between the two, I found that uh, when you run in uh, you know, full speed mode, which means it's not limited at all, uh, it was Frodo was running at about a thousand percent which you know, is 10 times faster than a Commodore 64, so yeah, very respectable. When I did the same thing, which is called warp mode in Vice, it was actually running at 7,500%, so you know, we have a huge difference there between the, the two emulators. Uh, granted that Vice disables the sound, or at least the output of it, uh, I don't think it's disabling the SID itself, but it's certainly, you know, regardless, you know, I, I don't expect the SID adds 7.5 times the overhead of, uh, of, of uh, Frodo, so what that translates to really is that on the on the iPhone it means it's going to be uh, running so much faster that it'll you know at a, when you're running regular games at 100% you certainly won't run them at full speed because they're unplayable. Uh, it's uh, going to be spending more time idle the CPU is, which therefore translates to less power usage and obviously better battery life. So that's that's hugely important for mobile devices. So given that that was one of the, one great side effect of moving to device. Secondly. Uh, it uses Resid as the sound emulation, which is you know, regarded as one of the best software emulators out there for the SID. And I think overall, I, uh, despite the daunting number of source files that I initially saw when I looked at Vice uh, some, you know, some time ago, a couple of years ago probably, uh, it's uh, very well architected as it turns out. So I was able to really, in a couple of days, I actually got the whole thing running again um, and then uh, did a little bit more time spent all the UI and everything back up because I actually had made this progress on Frodo and then decided I was going to remove it and add, uh, uh, replace it with Vice just because I had tried everything to troubleshoot the issues with you know, games like Whizball and Fist 2 and just uh, couldn't get to the bottom of it. So anyway, let's move on and just give a quick demo of well, what we can see here. We have uh, the main page here is really just sort of the, we've got a new front end now as you can see, so the main page here is uh, our entry point into launching the C64 emulator might have an about screen, a couple of other little things on it. Won't look that plain. Ultimately, uh, the browser is your uh, list of disk images and tapes and cartridges that you have on here. I'll uh, certainly change this a little bit. It'll actually enable the section support so that you'll have A to Z and you know, zero through nine. So it's a bit easier to page through all of your images. Probably a search as well at the top there. That'll make a big difference. Just explore if you've got a large number of images on your iPhone. Finally, the settings page, which uh, has uh, the emulate drive and jo swap joysticks options, which probably are the only two that most users care about. Uh, it turns out Vice itself actually has an extensive configuration API and you know, a myriad of settings that users can tweak and play with for you know, advanced users, but that'll be hidden under an advanced section, so we won't we won't threaten or you know, scare our users off with all that extra uh, unnecessary. Uh, tweaking support there on the main page there. Uh, these settings will probably be available as shortcut buttons on the keyboard as well so that you know, turning those things on and off and swapping joysticks is sort of a one-tap thing. Um, but anyway, let's uh, jump into the emulator. Well, firstly I'll show you Whizball which was actually one of the games that was failing for me before. So we'll uh, load it up. Activate the warp mode, which just enables, speeds things up significantly, and kick it off. See, there was no sound. But, uh, disable the warp mode and the sound back. So let's skip over that and get through all of the splash screens. Skip over the trainers, trainer settings. 
that was right here previously that it would crash, whereas uh, now. Whizball just because it's, it's certainly, I think it's pretty popular amongst the chiptune uh, uh, listeners out there because it's got a pretty impressive uh, soundtrack, uh, sort of really highlighting some of that, the uh, features of the Sid. I won't go into all of that, but anyway, that's uh, that's Whizball running on the iPhone, looks great. Let's uh, quickly jump off to a couple more before I end this one. We can switch off to the browser again. It's only appropriate that we launch uh, International Karate again. Get the reset. Uh, the pause, a uh, couple of other features I want to uh, introduce, you know, obviously before this thing is completed is, you know, if a phone call happens or something like that and uh, the SDK limits us, we can't run in the background so we can't sort of pause and just wait there. We actually have to be shut down. So That'll that'll be that'll make I'll make sure that happens that when the the uh, application receives the application suspend event or anything similar, it will actually quickly persist the state to this so that when you come back in you'll be in a pause state and right where you left off. So very important I think to avoid too much frustration. The National Karate Plus. Too. That was also one that we were having problems with before. Very quickly. There we go. Previously it was a 